products that are coming with the zippers are Parcel Hand Glove Model 103 and Food Cover Series Model HTSF and HTSF XT. The zip is fully integrated with the product, so the zip cannot be exchanged. If the zip is unable to repair, then the whole glove or foot cover will need to be refabricated. The good way of donning and doffing the glove or foot cover is to unzip all the way to the end of the zipper. If the patient moves the zip in the halfway and wear the glove, the stretch will pressure on the zip teeth, which will damage the teeth. Once the zip teeth are damaged, we are not able to repair. Then the glove or foot cover will have to be refabricated. Keeping the zip clean will also make it long-lasting. To clean the zipper, simply let the water or mild soap water running on the zip and use toothbrush to brush the teeth. So all the dirt accumulated at daytime can be removed. If unfortunately, the patient does not fully open up the zip, stretch the opening during donning and doffing, and the split does happen. Do not ignore the split because it will grow and break the whole prosthesis. The patient has to return the prosthesis to the clinic. Then the technician can cut out the split and grind the edge so that the split will be fixed. Wire finger allows patient to bend the fingers. Hinged finger can be bent in more precise angle. Wide fingers and hinged fingers are for cosmetic purpose, not supposed to be functional. Here are some examples that will increase the chance of damage. Using the prosthesis to carry bags. Using the prosthesis to type the keyboard. Using the prosthesis to drive the car. Open the door or pull the handle. Pressing on the prosthesis while standing up. When you have acrylic nail together with wire fingers or hinged fingers, please pay attention while bending the finger. In normal cases, bending and pressing the fingers will be fine. However, when there is acrylic nail, please bend from the joints. If the patient always presses on the acrylic nail to bend the finger, the acrylic nail may be worn out faster or even cracked or falling off. When wearing silicone finger, the air inside will be squeezed out, create a vacuum effect. This can help the prosthesis to secure and stick to the stump, which means the suspension will be good. While taking off the finger, do not pull the finger directly or scratch the edge, because these actions can cause split from the side or the opening. Use a cotton pin inserting to the opening and let the air go in and try to take off the prosthesis. If unfortunately the split does happen, patient has to return the prosthesis to the clinic. Then the technician can cut out the split and grind the edge so that the split will be fixed. We highly recommend it to clean your silicon prosthesis after wearing. Not only clean the surface, cleaning inside is also important as well because the dirt and sweat will remain inside. Be aware on the filling inside the prosthesis. If it is foam filling, do not let the water go in. The water will penetrate the foam and keep the moisture inside. Then over time, the foam will turn black and get moldy. Simply using the wet glove to wipe out the dirt or sweat from the foam will be good enough. If it is silicon or foam and silicon filling, no need to worry about the filling, as silicon is waterproof. The prosthesis can be washed in and out. 